Tina's allegations of extortion are coming to light in the tragic death of Yuba College student Ali Yeoman. The family, while agonizing over her disappearance, was allegedly being targeted by someone seeking to make a profit from their loss. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. Now the FBI has made an arrest in this extortion case. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at the federal courthouse with details agents are laying out tonight. Steve. Tony, this is a classic case of adding insult to injury. These court documents lay out a suspect with no shame, preying on victims already living through a terrifying experience. And anybody that has any information, please, please come forward. The heartbreaking plea of a mother seeking help to find her missing daughter. Paula Eads daughter, 20-year-old Ali Yeoman, vanished last year. Her body eventually discovered in the Feather River. The investigation into the drowning death continues. Now, the FBI has made an arrest connected to the tragedy. Court documents show a woman named Rosario Young, who investigators determined had no role in Yeoman's disappearance, is under arrest for sending Eads ransom messages through a Facebook account under the name Fasia Quinn, three days after media began reporting Yeoman's disappearance. The FBI says she wanted money from a family in crisis. One message reading, you want to see her again, pay me or she's dead. She owes me money for stealing my dope. And another, you go to law enforcement, I'll know. So you want your pretty little princess back, then cooperate. Court documents also show heartbreaking exchanges between Young and Yeoman's mother on Facebook. Allie's mother pleading for a phone call. Can she call me? Allie, my daughter needs to call me. And she has my cell number. This is me telling her I love her. Telling her I miss her. Paula Eads spoke to CBS 13 during the weeks before her daughter's body was discovered. Questions into how Yeoman died still remain. This FBI arrest now answers who allegedly tried to profit from the heartbreaking loss. And the FBI also says this same suspect has done this same thing to another family of a missing woman in Colorado. She's due here at the Sacramento Federal Courthouse on Monday. Yeah, how low can you go? All right, Steve, thanks for that live update.